What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to be discussing the top five things that you need to avoid when starting and building your Pokemon card collection. So in one of my previous videos, I covered the top five tips to help you build your collection. And now I'm going to tell you the top five mistakes that you can make when building your collection and to avoid and what to avoid. Exactly. So let's get started. First one, buying sealed product at MSRP or higher. I've been talking about this since I started my channel. Never, ever, ever, ever buy sealed product for MSRP or higher because there are always deals to be found, especially if you are subscribed to my channel and have notifications on. I'm always posting about deals whenever I can and whenever they're released and all that. And especially when Black Friday hits, you know what I mean? So they happen throughout the year. I'm always posting vi posting videos about them. Why would you spend 160 something dollars plus tax on a booster box when I'm always posting them for like $100 or less a lot of times, you know? Why? That's a big difference. And a lot of times you don't even get that many good pulls in the booster box to even make your money back. So you're gonna be taking an even fatter L if you buy it for 160 plus from like Pokemon Center or stuff like that. Same thing with ETBs and all these, and just everything. They're, they're always, always on sale. The more you save, the more you can just use the extra money on, I don't know, more cards or whatever, literally whatever you want. So that is the number one thing that you need to avoid. Do not get caught in the FOMO. And that's going to be, that, the FOMO will be th like throughout, I guess, all five, um, the whole video, I guess. Do not get caught in the FOMO. Oh, this product's coming out uh, and uh, I really want it right now, even though it's pre-ordered for months from now or weeks from now or whatever. Um, but I really want to order right now. You're not going to get the product until then. Just wait for sales. Just wait for sales. It's the same thing. Like amazing example, the Charizard UPC. Some people were coming after me for saying, do not FOMO. Just wait. They're like, Oh, it's going to sell out and it's going to be higher price and yada, yada. What happened exactly? I showed you how to get it for like 70 something at one point. And then same thing with the 151 UPC, the same thing. Everyone was was going crazy, losing their minds, and then all of a sudden, they're widely available. Widely available. This is not like when COVID first happened, when there were so many shortages. It's not like that anymore, okay? So do not buy at MSRP or higher. Always, always buy for lower than MSRP. That's why you're subscribed to the channel. Number two, buying and opening too much sealed product instead of buying singles. So Yes, it's great to get stuff for under MSRP. However, if you're buying too much sealed product instead of just the singles that you want, then you're in a bad situation because a lot of times the pull rates suck. Unless you get really, really lucky and get what you want, the pull rates are terrible, okay? As you've seen from my openings, uh, a lot of them are just like, I'm not getting anything. There have been a couple where I'm like, okay, like the, the Giratina V-Star, the gold one, that was amazing. But then other times there's like nothing, so why use that money? Spend it on packs and on booster box, like a bunch of booster boxes. Yeah, if you want to get one or two and open them, that's fine. But if you're going to get a bunch of sealed product and more and more and just keep opening them for, in the hopes of getting the cards that you want, you're going to end up spending so much more money than you would have if you just bought the cards that you wanted. And I get there's the fun factor, but is that fun factor worth it? Worth the extra X amount of dollars that you spent trying to open products? Now, if you have a YouTube channel and you know, you're, I don't know, you're, you're monetizing all that kind of stuff. Okay, that's different. But still, don't do too much. Don't do too much. Like even with my channel, I only open things sometimes. So just avoid that mistake. If you feel like, okay, I opened some stuff. I didn't get what I want, but I still want these cards. Don't go out, don't go spending so much more money on sealed products. Just buy the cards that you want. Um, like I mentioned in, a, in the other video, make offers on eBay, trade for cards, all that kind of stuff. All right? Next, number three, pre-ordering singles for insane prices. Again, FOMO. Uh, so many examples. Iono, Charizard, the um, the special illustration rare EX, a bunch of those. They were going for three hundred to five hundred dollars, I think, when they, for pre-orders, and people were buying them. And then uh, the Charizard is now what seventy something. I haven't looked at it in a long time, but seventy something or even less. It might be even less now. Maybe fifty something. I haven't looked. What? You could have bought several of them for the for the price that you paid for them. Same thing with Iono. 
That thing was sitting at, like people were spending 300 to 500 for it. And then it went down to like the 100 or hundreds. Now it's like, what, 80? And then there's another version coming out. Don't FOMO for them. They're going to come out. It's supply and demand. When there's very low supply and high demand for hype cards, obviously the price is going to be high. You're doing yourself no favor by, by order pre-ordering from eBay, for example, for hundreds of dollars for a card. When, in the, when later on, you can get at least three of the same card, three copies of the same card, even four, like a play set for the same price that you would have spent. If it's that high of a value card, there's no point in, in FOMOing. Just there's no point. It's just hype. Don't give into it. Don't give into it. Um, next, buying singles from Amazon. Okay, so Amazon is full of fake cards. All right. There are some trusted sellers that you can, you know, uh, like Core TCG. Like, I, like I'm familiar with like the Yu-Gi-Oh market for Amazon, Core TCG and some other places. Those are trusted sellers, but then a lot of times they just sell you fake cards. There are so many fake cards on Amazon where kids will think that all oh, those gold gold cards, the metal cards, those are all fake. And then, uh, like my cousins made this made this mistake by buying from Amazon, I, and I told like his family, don't do it, do not do it anymore. No Amazon. If you want to buy singles, eBay. Of course, you can look at the reviews and uh, and you can see the card for yourself. Like you should be able to see the front and back of the card. Personally, I don't buy, usually I don't buy cards, singles from eBay, unless there's a picture of the front and the back. Because if there's only a picture of the front and I'm looking for near mint or mint cards, the back might be, you know, something might be on the back. I don't, I don't like that at all. Um, so eBay, TCG player, but again, the if you're trying to, if it says near mint on TCG player, just remember it can have like a little scratch somewhere or a little um chip or something like that so be careful see if they have pictures or you can just ask the seller or anything like that um well actually it's harder on tcg player than ebay but yeah um what those are my main two and then you know there are just websites for like different stores that i've shown but those are the main two things that i that i go after so mainly ebay for singles and then of course the card shops sometimes they have sales but you can also see the card in front of you for yourself. Look at the front and back. You can make an offer at the card shop. Hey, you know, if the cards, I don't know, um, $45, ask them if, they, if they'll take 40. You have nothing to lose. They, prob they might do it. I, it's happened to me before. They'll, they, some people are just, they're, they're nice. Just go ahead. And then, of course, you can buy them from other people. Um, and yeah, or in those like Facebook groups uh, where they list a bunch of cards and this and that. So there you go. Just don't buy from Amazon because a lot of times they're fake. You don't know the condition, etc., etc. Yes, you can get your money back because uh, you go to Amazon, their uh, what's it called A to Z guarantee, but still don't waste your time. And then number five, not knowing the value of your cards when trading or selling. Always, always know the value of your cards. If you're going to take, you know, you have a bunch of cards, whether they're like a high value or not, and you take them to the card shop, they're going to offer you, usually it's like 60% of TCG player for your cards. If you don't know what your cards are worth, maybe they'll throw a number that's even less than that. So always know the value of your cards. Always look up the values when you're going to go to a place to like trade them, sell them, whatever. Know the value and know the lowest that you will take. So 60% for, and that's going to be for like in-store credit. You can sell it to someone just any person for like 80% 80 TCG player, sometimes 90%, sometimes 100% um, of TCG player value. Um, and if you're trading, if you did not look up your card's value, don't know what it is, and someone says like, hey, would you trade this for this? You might get screwed because you might be trading your, I don't know, $50 card for, uh, I don't know, a $20 card, for example. You need to know the values so that you don't get screwed. And you always want to try to trade up Unless, unless you have a card that's like, let's say $100 and you don't want it at all. Like you have no interest in it and you want to break it down into cards that you actually want, you know, 25, 25, 50 or something, that's fine. But for me, I like to trade my value up, but it's up to you. But again, know your values. Um, no, that covers the five things that you need to avoid for starting your collection or building your collection. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, so this video was supposed to come out a while ago, but I just, work has been bad. I've been tired. Every time I try to do something, I just fall asleep at night, for example. So I'm trying, but uh, yeah. And then I'm looking out for deals. I released a video about uh, early bird deals for the new set that's coming after Paladin Fates. What's it called? Tempest something, or 
I can't even think of it off the top of my head right now. I don't understand why they they announced that already when Pallian Fates is like a while away from coming out. I don't know what's going on, but I put out some deals for that already. I put out some deals for Pallian, Fa uh, Pallian Fates, so t uh, check those out if you want. Um, and then, of course, like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's get to 5K. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.